Hi, I'm Al Reza and I'm presenting our new approach dealing with robot navigation in row crop fields using Visual Server 1 controller and a switching mechanism. Autonomous navigation is a prerequisite for all agricultural robotic applications such as cultivation, monitoring, and weeding, where an agent needs to visit all crops within the rows in the field autonomously. Most of these processes are time-consuming and should be repeated several times during a cultivation period. Nowadays, most of the system either use a LiDAR-based navigation or a GPS-based waypoint following method, which are expensive and vulnerable to outage. But we only rely on camera observations and aim at controlling the road without explicitly maintaining a map of the environment or performing a localization in a global reference frame. In row crop fields, crops are arranged along multiple parallel curves. We take advantage of such arrangement to enable a mobile robot to autonomously navigate and monitor the crops in the field. Our approach integrates a visual surveying-based crop row tracking which guides the robot through all individual crop rows and a switching mechanism to transition between rows when the robot reaches to end of each crop row. We consider a mobile robot platform capable of seamlessly moving in forward and backward directions. Our platforms are equipped with two cameras symmetrically in front and back, which are tilted toward the ground indicated by parameter row. To navigate along a crop row, we extract curve along which the crops are arranged. To do this, for each camera image, we first compute the vegetation mask using axis green index. Then for each connected component in the vegetation mask, which are crops, we compute the center point. We then estimate the path curve along which robots should navigate by computing the line that best fits all center points using a robust least square fitting method. To track a desired crop row, we use a fixed size sliding window. In such a way that for every new camera image, we update its position by averaging the positions of crops located in the desired row and inside the window. Updating the position of this window continuously allows for tracking a crop row and ensures that the robot follows it up to its end. And at the end of each crop row, the position of this window will be shifted to capture the next crop row to guide the robot through the next row. We use visual surveying method to align the robot to the curve extracted from the desired crop row. This method computes control parameter U based on the error between desired features S star and extracted features S. Also be imposed to keep linear velocity constant and only control angular velocity omega, which then the feature dynamics can be computed using interaction matrix and the map of the feature's movement from camera to the robot's frame. Our navigation scheme assumes that the robot starts at one of the corners of the field. Then it enters the first crop row and it follows it until the end and switches the primary camera to the opposite direction to exit the row. As it exited the row, it switches to the next row and moves seamlessly in the opposite direction using same camera and this routine will be repeated at the end of all rows to cover the whole field. We also created a simulated version of our robot in Gazebo, which is built on a 1x1 one one scale and has the same kinematics of the real robot. Also in the right image you can see the error signals of displacement and orientation which both pick whenever the robot is switching between the rows. As long as fields can have different shapes, we have generated several simulation crop fields of different shapes and sizes and evaluated our navigation systems on them. To evaluate the performance, we consider three factors. First, the average and standard deviation of distance of the robot to the crop rows. Second, the average number of crops per row missed by the robot. And third, the percentage of crop rows in the field missed by the robot. The result shows our method can cover the whole field without missing any row and the average and standard deviation of the robot's distance to the crop rows was 0.8 cm and 1.15 cm respectively. We also evaluated the robustness of our navigation scheme to the critical parameters 
which needs to be provided by the user. Both camera angle row and crop row distance evaluations show that our approach is able to have proper performance in a variety of configurations. Thank you for your attention.